Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the official, completely sober, installation instructional video. Or is that instructional installation video? Listen, this is sober, that's the point. It's the sober video of how to install JC2 FPS version 3.0 by Kai. By Kai. Now, second by Kai was referring to the video, not the one. Um, yeah, and I am completely sober. Because I've only had seven shots of whiskey, which is not very much, if you ask me. And why I'm drinking during the week is none of your business, so shut up. Okay, so, the reason I'm making this video, by the way, is because you idiots don't know how to do this yourself, even though I've left completely clear instructions about how. But yeah, anyway, now you know what, guys, I, I do love you a lot. You like you know, my life me, I do work for you, I do, yeah, slightly less poor than I am right now. So congratulations. Right, so what you do is you open your favorite browser, which in my case is Google Chrome, and in my case is being very slow. Then you navigate to the download page, which I have a bookmark for because I check it every day because it's my place. I like to make sure that you guys are still downloading it so people don't have to die. And read the comments, which are really weird at the moment. Virus, yeah. <laughs> like I'd have the patience to make a virus. Okay, anyway. So then what you do is you click download and you will get a text file, which I have prepared earlier. And it will look something like this, and then you will be provided with five links. And there they are. And you choose your favorite one. In my case, that would be Rabbit Chair, but in your case, it may be Multi Upload. Who knows? And then you copy and paste that into your browser, and you download, and eventually, 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 you will end up with a file that looks something like this. But it won't be spinning, it will just be still like that. Right. And then you need a program called Winra, which you, if you don't have by the year 2011, you must be an idiot. And you must have been born less than 10 years ago, so you must be 9, in which case you shouldn't be playing this game in the first place. So go away! And then you right click, and using Winra, you extract here. In my case, the desktop. It doesn't have to be the desktop, because we haven't installed it yet, and that's not what we're doing right now. We're just opening it, which can be done anywhere. You open that, and this is where the fun really begins. <laughs> Read the readme. I've written it for your pleasure. Okay, that should make you laugh a bit. Thank you very much. And then you go to JC2FPS main, the most important folder of all. All right, keep that open. Don't forget about it. We're leaving it here. See, right in the right-hand bottom corner. Right now you go to computer and you find your Just Cause 2 official installation folder, which in my case, because I'm on Steam, and if you're not on Steam, may the Lord have mercy on your soul. Is in program files, C, maps, common, just this too. Right, here we are. <gasps> Congratulations, this is the place where you're going to install it. Remember this name your children after it, and don't be drunk. Right, okay, it should have an archives in it, it should have DirectX, a sound, and maybe a drop zone if you're already quite smart about installation, in which case you should not be watching this video. Okay, right, the first thing you do is you go back to the thing that we extracted before that came with the thing and the thing and the thing, and you go to number one, install first, vital vehicle files necessary for all versions, emphasis added by me, open it, take this little thingy on you here, and put it there. Right, now you extract that here. Stage one complete. This was the most vital step of all, and if you didn't do it, you are a fool. Go home and play Xbox. Okay, now, you need to choose one of these three, 2A, 2B, or 2C, or if you're feeling really daring, you can try to paint it three. Which I don't know what it does, because I didn't actually write this mod, I hired a bunch of monkeys to do it. And I paid them in bananas, because that's all they want. But the truth is, I don't really give them bananas. Is it anyway? That's the cool thing about monkeys. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Now you go to 2A, B, or C, possibly three. Right, I'm just going to randomly choose 2A. You only have to do one of these, by the way. That's it. Right? And then you choose again. In my case, I'm going to choose Superman version. And in my case, I'm going to choose clear version. Right? This is actually the version I use. But you can do whatever you want. Basically, at the end of the day, you can end up with another RAW file that has all these funny symbols on it. Right. Take that, and you put it in the same place as before. Now what do you do? You right click. Can you guess it? Can you guess it? Can you guess it? Extract here. <gasps> Now look inside, oh, we've got a new one, DLC, in the case of Superman only. And Drop Zone! <gasps> look at all this magical stuff that's happening inside, all these new files. If you see these files, you can rest assured that you have successfully 
installed the JC2 FPS best mod ever for first person for Just Cause 2 and also the worst because it's anyway. Successfully! Congratulations, you can now take yourself away from the League of Stupid People and classify yourself as an intelligent, capable human being. If you want to remove the mod, then you make note of all the files that suddenly appeared from nowhere and you delete. I'll do that now just to prove that it's possible. Do you want to permanently assimilate the items? Yes! Ta da! Oh, and all of that. Um, you can leave drop them if you want. Basically, yeah, you just have to delete what you deleted. By the way, if at any point when you right click and extract and it says, But do you wish to replace? Then, if I were you, I would go to the thing that you're trying to replace, keep it as a backup somewhere else, rename it, move it, whatever, and then override. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations, bye.